All right, so here we have a 2002 Honda RC51 purchased at the end of last year, just wanting to get back into the sport bike game, so to speak. Uh, the other bike over here is a uh, Honda VFR 1200, uh, also a great bike, but again, looking to get back into the sport bike model specifically. Uh, picked this up again, end of last year. Uh, I knew it needed some very obvious maintenance things in the condition, felt that I got a pretty fair price on it, certainly not disappointed, even now knowing what I, what I do know. Uh, but really, as I've gone ahead, and you can kind of see clearly the bike in its current condition, it's had a breakdown of fairings, fairings off, rear tire assembly has been broken down, um, and basically there is just absolutely nothing on this bike uh, that does not either need some form of maintenance, uh, a replacement, or just could use an upgrade, uh, simply because of age has not been maintained, or... X number of years of technology has gone ahead and advanced uh, that it just makes sense to go ahead and actually actually do that. So that being said, uh, this will be a project bike or a build out and uh, go ahead and do it kind of as a series as we go ahead and work on each item piece by piece. I think the general flow is going to be just everything from back to front, uh, basically system by system. So what started out as a uh, chain and sprocket repair and upgrade uh, was the segue to exactly what I was saying to just basically we're just going to do a full restoration and modification to put the bike I think into a very nice straight trim is ultimately the uh, the final the final goal of everything. So went ahead and uh, knowing that I needed a chain replacement sprocket sprocket replacement uh, contacted uh, Kyle Racing ended up working with Mike who uh, uh, just basically had the parts ready to go shipped them out over very happy with them very happy with the price. Um, also went ahead and purchased uh, uh, Power Commander 5 uh, from um, you know, the DinoJet product. Uh, he had a great price on these. Uh, definitely everyone go ahead and reach out to him. Uh, really, 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 really happy with what the actual price was. Um, and then likewise as well too, I plan on using him moving forward for some of the suspension items that we'll go ahead and take a look at here. So uh, that being said, let me go ahead and actually pull the camera off the mount uh, and we'll go ahead and do just a very basic walk around, take a look at what's been broken down, what needs to go ahead and get updated. And um, we'll just give it a once over as we go through it. And then moving forward, we'll just kind of uh, uh, be doing some videos by videos of uh, progress until we reach its uh, final form. So uh, yeah, here we go. All right, so we'll go ahead and have the uh, handy dandy flashlight here just to show maybe a couple couple key spots, but basically full full rear disassembly. Uh, you can kind of see back over here behind, uh, that's gonna be our actual tire. That tire is probably the only good thing uh, that's mechanically sound on the vehicle or on the motorcycle just simply because it was replaced at the time of purchase. Uh, but otherwise we will be inspecting kind of this rear brake component that's down here. Uh, the rear swing arm, I think, generally generally looks fine. Uh, of course, I mentioned kind of the chain upgrade uh, that we have going on. Uh, there was a real problem down here in the back, and let me just see if I can get a good uh, uh, good good view of it here. We'll swing the view. There we go. Yeah, basically, uh, the exhaust uh, just really did not really just did not fit well. Um, it was going ahead and. Uh, uh, probably the best way of saying it, severe, severe exhaust leak that was that was occurring. And then likewise as well to uh, the uh, rear shock here goes ahead and uh, very simply needs an upgrade. I was talking with Mike most recently about this, and uh, it's just something uh, we're going to go ahead and do. Put a nice Olin's unit on the back um, and get this actually set up set up correctly. Going ahead and taking a look here, we have the actual. Uh, uh, front sprocket, uh, super dirty, have not even yet bothered to clean this out. Just wanted to show kind of the, the gunk and grime that was there. So we're going to get this all in uh, in tip top shape. We also have some discoloration that's occurring right there on the clutch line. And I think that was really just kind of a function of uh, it was left outside. The bike was left outside for, I think, an extended extended period of time. And um, it's just something that uh, might replace that. I think mechanically the line is fine, but from a cosmetics, uh, we may go ahead. We may go ahead and take care of that as well, too. We also have down here, let me just see if I can go ahead and get the camera on it, perfect. Uh, we have uh, basically this whole undertail assembly, which is just ultimately just complete garbage. Um, wiring is just very sad news all the way around. New battery in it, of course, is fine. In fact, we can kind of see as we go ahead and take a look down here, 
throw the see if we can get the light back on it. Yeah, basically flush mount using the OEM signals. Um, it did work to a certain degree, but honestly, uh, it's just not it's just not good. Period. So, so we have that we have that going on, uh, and then moving up here. Moving up here to the actual the actual front, uh, we have you know some levers here. This one's tied off because we were working on the uh, front sprocket. Uh, grips are obviously trash. Not really not really too enthused about the clip-ons. You see some chrome, some color going on here. So I have to figure out what's going on here. The levers I'm not really excited about either by any stretch of, by any stretch of the imagination. Um, so we have that, and then as well too, uh, we do have battery. We will go ahead and turn it on here. Let's see, we get a mileage check, 13,222 miles. Uh, ran good, sounded good. Mechanically, the engine sounds, sounds fine. So that's, uh, that's, all, that's, all, that's all well and good. Went ahead and already took care of the, took care of the oil, oil replacement. Uh, get that handled. So at least we have fresh oil and made sure that mechanically it revs fine. It was pretty rich. So we will go ahead and get proper tuning. Go ahead and add it in there as well. Um, and then probably I think the most relevant thing or kind of maybe the last thing to take a look at. Um, parts from car racing, chain, sprockets, some block off plates. Um, the exhaust that was on it. Uh, basically two brothers racing exhaust or Kind of their street race uh, combo blend and then of course the pipes that we have here and the tire that will uh the tire that will ultimately go back on so there we have it uh, this is going to be the uh be the project and uh i think it's going to be a fun one hopefully kind of interesting and uh, that's it away we go we'll start working on a couple more disassembly of a couple of systems we're going to get the tank off we've already gone ahead and let me see here we've already gone ahead and removed the uh air filters that are in there we have some oems but i think it's just going to be a case we're going to go ahead and get the tank off fix the small dent that's here uh might do some maintenance <clears throat> to the uh to the engine as well too or just a couple maintenance checks um, but hopefully we don't have to dig in too deep. And then, of course, the fuel, make sure the fuel system is set up correctly. So anyhow, 2002 RC51 Project Bike. Um, very excited. We're going to see how it goes. And it should be a lot of fun. So let's, uh, let's get started. Pretty cool. All right.